This afternoon, the 18 action cam was along the north side of Dothan. There's 231 in front of Walmart there. A mix of sun and clouds. Beautiful day at times. A little bit warm for some of you, I'm sure, with those high temperatures in the upper 80s. But it's just the beginning of the summer heat that we will be dealing with very shortly. And with that, dry conditions across the area. A lot of you are probably watering your plants. This was taken out in New Brockton. You can see a little bit of a rainbow forming there in the spray from the hose there, watering the grass there. I'm sure a lot of you are going to need to do that because actually the uh, drought update uh, monitor from the uh, Weather Service came out for today. As far as uh, across the southeast, we actually do have abnormally dry conditions across southern Georgia, but actually a moderate drought developing for us right over the wiregrass. So it looks like that will be persisting for at least the next several weeks, if not a month or so. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. We had a wet start to the year, but over the past uh, few weeks and actually uh, about a month or so, we've been behind on our rainfall. We do have a little bit of rain on the radar right now, mainly along Interstate 10, some pockets of some heavier rain along Highway 84 in Houston County, but the heaviest stuff has been down to the southeast of us. One or two showers will be possible for us here in the Wiregrass as we do go into the evening hours, but after sunset, conditions will be drying out in places where that rain is falling. High temperatures today did make it into the upper 80s for most locations, lower 90s for others. Temperatures at the moment still in the 80s for us, but where it's been a little bit wetter as far as those rain showers, a little cooler. Defuniac Springs, 79 degrees right now. And as we go into the evening hours, those conditions will remain in the 70s through the 10 o'clock hour. We'll have a bit of a partly cloudy sky at times that will persist overnight. And then through the day tomorrow, that cloud cover will bring some rain chances to the forecast. Temperatures, despite that, will still make it into the upper 80s. The weekend will be a little bit cooler, but just slightly cooler with a more of an unsettled pattern setting up some tropical moisture will be working into the southeast thanks to a system off the coast of Florida over the Bahamas and then next week is starting out on the hot side 90 degrees with mainly dry conditions. So this is the system that we are watching. Not anything we need to really worry about developing a 10% chance over the next five days, but a lot of shower activity will be produced from this over the Florida Peninsula and some of that will actually work its way into our area. The stuff that we are tracking along the Florida Panhandle and Big Ben actually is loosely associated with that system. As far as tonight, though, things will be drying out. Temperatures staying on the warm side, upper 60s, middle 60s as we go into the later overnight hours. And then for the first part of tomorrow, we will start off on the dry side, but then showers will develop around lunchtime. A few thunderstorms will be possible as we do head into the later afternoon and into the evening hours. But then again, after sunset, conditions will be drying out going into the overnight hours for us going into early Saturday morning with those temperatures then staying on the warm side overnight and then warming up pretty decently into the upper 80s then for those afternoon high temperatures that will be maybe a little bit cooler for us on Sunday. Those rain chances will still stay with us. So basically unsettled Friday, Saturday and for Sunday going into Monday hot and dry 90 for the high temperature. A little bit of cloud cover returns on Tuesday, then Wednesday and Thursday. Be looking at some storm chances returning with slightly cooler temperatures again in the forecast, but 